Welcome back to the Crochet Credits with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today you're gonna work on this simple chevron crochet baby blanket. It's using Bernat baby blanket yarn using an eight millimeter size L crochet hook just like you see here. Really quite an easy pattern to be able to maintain. It's got a bit of texture and once you get started it's off to the races and there's really only one instruction to do once you get to row number two. So here's what the project looks like. You can see it's got texture in it. It's really quite awesome and it's a really easy pattern to be able to maintain. So here's that little chart that I drew. If you would like to change the size of this if you don't wanna chain 86 you can go multiples of 14. So 14, 14, 14 and once you're satisfied you're just gonna add two at the end. So the multiples for this one is 14 plus two. So you can go either way and we're using Bernat blanket yarn today and an eight millimeter size L crochet hook in order to play. So let's begin. You can either chain in multiples of 14 plus 2 or you can go 86. It depends on what you would like to do. So I'm gonna do the 14 because it's just easier for me because I just need a small sample. So you're just gonna count it out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that would be considered one of the the ideas here. So that was down and back up. So if you're not satisfied with the width to continue again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Satisfied yes or no? Keep on going then. If you're not so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Once you're satisfied with the width of it and once you got to there just add an additional two and that'll keep you in balance. So one and two. So either chain 86 or multiples of 14 plus two. So let's work our way down the chain. So you're gonna go second chain from the hook. So one and two just count it backward and go to the back loop or the back hump of the chain and I want you to place in two single crochets in there. So one and two. So you're starting on the top of the peak on the on the edge and uh, you're gonna go down. So in order to go down the next six are gonna be one single crochet each. So one and two. This is three, four, five, and six. So now we're at the base of the valley. So you're gonna skip the next one. So skip the next chain and then go into the one after that and go into that one plus five more. So that gives you a total of six. So you're gonna go six up. So one and two. This is three. This is four. Five. And six. So now we're at the top of the hill. So at the very next stitch you're gonna put in three single crochets to allow it to make the bend to go back downhill. So three in that one. So this is two and three. So let's go down the hill. So go starting in the next one. Next chain is go six down. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and now you're at the base of the valley. So to skip one go to the second over and do six single crochets that'll take you back up to the top. So what I want you to do is just keep doing that all the way across and you can see that the bending motion is gonna happen and I'll show you what to do on the very edge of this. So just go up and down all the way to the other side and I'll see you at the end of this row. So when you get to the other side you're gonna be finishing in the up motion. So you're gonna be coming down and then back up and finishing. So I'm on the third one going back up the other side. So this is uh, four and then five and six leaving you with one stitch left and the one stitch left here is gonna have two single crochets. So only on the edges is there ever gonna be just two single crochets at the top but in the middles there's always gonna be three. So let's turn our work and continue using this color. So it's turning a work and it's all just now what we, I'm about to show you is for the rest of this afghan. The only difference is you might change color once in a while and I'll show you how to change colors as well. So you're going to just chain up one and on the edges 
like I told you we're gonna go on the back loop only. So just go into the back loop. So you, right now you see stitches, right? And you see two strands but if you go into the one that's in the very farthest away from you that's the back loop and the one that's closest is the front loop but we're only gonna play in the back loops now. So you're just gonna start off right in the back loop and you're gonna put in two single crochets. That's the edge peak, okay? And now for the next six in a row you're going to just go down. So just in the back loops of each one of the six. So one, two, three, four. This is five and six. So now that you're at the base of the peak, last time we were skipping over one. This time we're gonna skip over two. So we skip over two now going forward when you're at the base. So skipping over two and go right for the back loop of the third one and go up. So just go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now the next one is the very top of the peak and it's always gonna be the same. It's going to be three single crochets right in the same one. So one, two, and three. So let's go down. So the next six in a row in the back loops are going to be going down single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so then we skip the next two. They're at the base and go to the third one over and work your way back up for six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now that your six are in, the very top is gonna be the same. It's gonna be three single crochets into that one. So one, two, and three. So I want you to continue that same pattern going all the way across and then I'll show you how to handle the ends. The hands are just slightly different but not really big, that big a deal. So I'll see you at the end of this round. When you're coming up to the very end you're just still gonna go up your six. So one, two, three, four, five. You got your six and you're left with one more stitch left. So because it's the end the very last stitch still in the back loop is gonna be two single crochets. Okay, so it's not three like it would be if it was here. So turning your work, all the rows are gonna be exactly what I just taught you. So you're just gonna chain up one and start immediately in the back loop and because this is an edge there will be two single crochets there and then you're gonna work your way down. So the next six in a row will each be a single crochet. So this is two, three, four, five, and, and six is coming up. Skipping the base two. So one, two and then go in the third one go six up. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the next one because it's the middle one is gonna be three on the top of that. So one, two, and three. So then just go six down, skip the bottom two and then six up and put three in the top. Please do that all the way across. I'm gonna show you how to change colors at the end of this row. And now coming up to the end of the row I'm going six up. So this is two, three, four, five, and six and then the final the next one is the top one. So there's only gonna be two. So what I want you to do to change these colors out, it's easier if you just get rid of the color altogether. So just uh, snap this yarn, just trim it and then pull through. And what I would do is take that tail and just weave it in and out out of some of the stitch work that, exi that is existing. And when you take the new color you're gonna go right up over top of this to lock it right into position and I would go about two inches or a little bit longer if I were you. The longer that you can get it in here the longer, um, the harder that it is for that tail to fall out. Of course you can use a darning needle if you like to as well. So once you get that done just turn your work and let's begin the next row. So we're gonna begin the next row using another color. Start with the slip knot that'll lock it and put it onto the hook and coming into the very starting one. And we wanna maintain it. We wanna go into the back loop only
when we go to join it as if it was gonna be the green. Sometimes it's a little harder to get started. You just wanna get everything positioned in your hands and pull through. There we go. Now it's in. Just pull everything nice and tight. Lock it. So chain one and in the same stitch I want you to put in two double crochet or two single crochets like you would have this if it was green. So what I want you to do is lay the straggler down and even the green one here on top of the line. The green one's woven in and you're going to work in the back loops going down not are going down for six like you would have before. So one going right up over top of those stragglers two and you're gonna do three okay so that was three and then it's four and I'm gonna do five and six skipping over two, one and two, jumping over to the third one and going up for six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and at the next one is the top so you're gonna put in three there. So one, two and three. So let's turn this over and review what where we buried things. So things are nice and buried in underneath. So just pull things nice and tight and once you're satisfied with it because you have buried it you can simply just trim it out and get rid of that. The starting tail that you're going to have is that I would take it and put it through a darning needle. So if you put it through a darning needle it'll get really nice and lost in there. So um, if you try to weave it in no matter what I've done when I've started a project it always falls out. So you wanna just take this with the darning needle and just insert it in. The yarn plushes are really condenses down quite nicely and you're just gonna drag it through some of the stitch work. So go through once. Don't uh, pull it too tight so that it warps your project. So that was once. Going through a different path for twice and finally a third path to get it locked in completely. So once it's back and forth three times you can never have that fall out. Be impossible to almost to pull out that as well. So this is what it would look like if you were to do this and uh, you can see it nice once you get rid of the loose ends it looks nice and seamless as you're changing the colors out as well. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.